Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The need for lightweight tank was felt during the initial phase of Galwan Valley attack when PLA Army has fielded its Type 15 lightweight tanks. The tank weighs just 33 tons with armor package 36 tons. Its main armament includes a 105mm rifled gun having 38 rounds with auto loader. The secondary armament includes remotely operated weapon station armed with coaxial 12.7mm machine gun and QLZ-04 automatic grenade launcher. It was especially designed by Chinese firm Norinco for effective operation in highlands and plateaus, woodland and water-rich regions where the heavier Type 99 and Type 96 main battle tanks might have difficulties in mobilizing. As per reports, the Type 15 light tank has powerful engine, oxygen generators and high power to weight ratio which makes it perfect for high attitude operation. In response, Indian Army has fielded its T-72 weighing 45 tons and T-90 which weighs around 46 tons. These tanks are both heavier than PLA Type 15 tank but having greater firepower and armor protection. However, their mobility was limited in mountainous terrain and also ability to airlift due to heavy weight which was considered as one of the major limitations in these tanks. Indian Army has identified this capability gap in their armory and plan to procure a lightweight tank for effective operation in mountainous terrains that could be an answer to PLA's Army's Type 15 lightweight tanks. In April 2021, the Ministry of Defense issued an official RFI for the purchase of 350 next generation light tanks under Make in India scheme of DAP 2020. The combat weight of tank should not exceed 25 tons with modular and upgradable main gun, secondary armament for anti-air and ground rolls with different caliber and remote assisted weapon station. Army wanted the tank to be able to fire modern advanced multi-purpose smart munitions with gun tube launched anti-tank guided missile and able to defeat tanks type A vehicle, UAV and soft skin vehicles and PGMs. It should have a stenag level protection from all sides including top. The tank must have explosive reactive armor, soft kill measures, CBRN protection and instant fire detection and suppression system. As per latest reports, the Indian Army has launched the project Zorawar, the induction of indigenous light tanks for quicker deployment and movement in high altitude areas after Zorawar Singh Kahluria, a military general who is referred to as Napoleon of India and conqueror of Ladakh. The tank will have inbuilt niche technologies including AI, drone integration, active protection system and a high degree of situational awareness. The lightweight tank will have equal firepower as medium tanks. It will be equipped with counter drone system to take care of aerial threats, communication systems and missiles. The first prototype will be developed within the next two to three years by Indian industry and any technological advancement will be further integrated into them. The shortlisted Indian vendor will develop the tanks based on the qualitative requirements provided by the army, which would be suitable for Indian conditions. We have already reported that DRDO is working on the prototype of light tank. Now, as per DRDO chief, CVRD and LNT has already begun work in full swing on the lightweight tank. In March this year, the lightweight tank has been put under make one category of 2020 defense procurement process which will be funded by government. DRDO has been doing R&D for the lightweight tank and has a tie-up with LNT as development come production partner DCPP. Once the project is complete, the Indian Army can formally place the order. In last one month, DRDO chief has confirmed couple of times that the development of tank will be fully completed by 2023 and will be ready for production. Earlier this year, the MOD had already given in principle approval for development of a light tank and the Defense Equation Council is expected to accord the acceptance of necessity for light tanks next month. This would be an indigenous project which will be designed and manufactured in India. The production of a prototype 
and beginning of trials is expected in three years from the sanction of the project. There is one more important technology which Indian Army is adopting which we want to discuss in this video. It's about ISAT-S. With the induction of disruptive technologies, the tanks are almost becoming obsolete. They are helpless against armed drones and handheld ATGM missiles. We have seen numerous videos of tanks being easy target of Javelin or drone launch missiles in Russia-Ukraine war. In order to overcome these kind of limitations, Indian Army has planned to develop and induct the Integrated Surveillance and Targeting System ISAT-S. The ISAT-S will supplement the mechanized forces in regular terrains and provide an operational advantage and flexibility to the mechanized columns. The system will consist of a surveillance drone and smart munitions launched from vehicle platform to execute various surveillance tasks and engage armored fighting vehicle targets beyond the line of sight. The surveillance drone would fix and launch smart munitions automatically on identification of targets for precision kill. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.